In this episode, I will show you how to create a very simple side menu using a widget called Drawer. This is how it looks like in its final form. And now let's switch back and let's build it from the scratch. Programming in Flutter is very similar to Lego in a sense that you have to know the pieces and you have to know how those pieces uh, fit together, how to connect them. In order to create a side menu, we need to use a widget called Drawer. Let's go to the message list. And there is this scaffold widget, which creates the basic structure of, of the screen with the up bar at the top and the body, which is this white region over here. But there is another parameter we can define and it's called drawer. So if we use this and we just type drawer, it adds an icon and now I can click it. It creates the side menu out of the box. It's empty, so let's fill it up a little bit. So let me start with uh, adding a column. And in this column, I will define some children and those will be those children will be list tiles so now i have the first uh, inbox so it's not properly aligned so let me add padding widget and there is a padding parameter and we can say only because we we only want to have the top padding so i will say 20 and now it's slightly better let's add another one or maybe three three more so the first one will be inbox the second one will be draft archive sent and let's add, add another one called uh, trash okay pretty good at the bottom, I will just add a divider. And now whenever I click, I have those uh, six options available. It would be nice to have some icons to guide the user. So we will use this parameter called uh, leading. And this will be an icon. So now it, it adds the, the inbox icon on the left side. Of the tile the icons that come with flutter are pretty limited i will go to the pub spec file and i will add the font awesome package which provides some additional icons and now i can use the font awesome icons i just need to add the, the package at the top and now I should have a different icon let's repeat that so draft edit archive paper plane and trash it's just trash yeah, it looks good. Now I would like to add at the bottom the settings. In order to do that, I cannot just add another list style after divider because if I do that, it's just after the last element. Let me just quickly change the icon so it's something like a cog or yeah. In order to do that, I need to use expanded widget and I need to use another widget called align. And here, as a child, we will use our list tile. And then we have to set the alignment to fractional offset. We will use bottom, bottom center and it works. Lastly, it would be good to add some kind of a header to this uh, side menu. And Flutter provides that out of the box. There is user accounts drawer 
header. So if I add this, it adds this uh, blank screen and I need to define some parameters which are required, which is account email and account name. So let's start with email. and name okay now I can remove the padding it looks be slightly better user accounts drawer uh, header has this uh, current account picture which is just a circle avatar and I can customize it in two ways I can use just text And, or I could use the image. So let's use image. So in order to do that, we will use background image property and we will use network image here. Network image requires us to specify the string. No, I'm sorry, the URL. So I will just go to my GitHub account and I will grab this image of my lovely face and I will just copy image address and I will paste it here. So now it displays my, my avatar. So on top of current ac account picture, there is another property called other accounts picture. And we will use that to display a potential other email accounts that will be that a user can uh, can define to you. So for example, if you have two Gmail accounts or Gmail and Yahoo account, you will be able to define that here. The first image will be just the button to add another account. And we will use a circle avatar for that with an icon. And we will use add icon. Yeah. Now it will be good to have some clicking behavior. So whenever I click on this, something happens. So right now it, it doesn't it doesn't work. Let's see if a circle avatar has some on top handler. It doesn't because it's just a widget that displays something. In order to add this behavior of reacting to user clicks, we will wrap it in a widget called gesture your detector. And now it has on top. And let's just print something to the debug console to see if it works. So here is the debug console. And now if I click, you can see at the bottom the, the message is being displayed. So instead of printing it, let's do something more meaningful, something which is visible to the user. And let's use a function called show dialog. And let's use uh, let's create an alert, which is displayed whenever user clicks. Uh, creating new or maybe adding new account so this won't be doing anything right now let's see if it works yeah whenever I click there is some alert being displayed so lastly it would be nice to have some counters on the right side of each uh, section that display how many items are there in each uh, of these of these sections so we can use in a list style widget there is this parameter called trailing and I can just say text 11 so it looks pretty okay but it could be better so there's another widget called chip and it displays the the text inside a label well, let's slightly improve that we will define the background color as maybe blue. It would be also good to make the, this text slightly bolder. 
So we will use again text style and we will say font weight bold. Whenever I click, nothing happens, but we will cover that in another episode. See you next time.